Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to determine whether the following series is divergent or uh, convergent. That is the sigma 2 divided by n2 minus 1 when n changes from 2 to infinity. Let's first calculate the limit of this term a n when n goes to infinity. So limit of 2 divided by n2 minus 1 when n goes to infinity this is equal to 2 divided by infinity which will be equal to 0. That means you cannot determine uh, uh, you cannot determine uh, this uh, whether this series is divergent or convergent using this test. Note that if the series if the limit was not equal to zero or the limit if the limit did not exist, then you could conclude this series is divergent. But now since the limit is equal to zero, that means this test is not useful for you anymore. So you need to find a different method or different approach to um, calculate, to determine whether the series is um, divergent or convergent. Let's compute the partial summation of this series. That is Sn equal to sigma 2 divided by i2 minus 1 when i changes from 2 to n. Okay? And using the partial fraction decomposition, you can uh, write this series as basically instead of 2 divided by i2 minus 1, I can represent this fraction as 1 divided by i minus 1 minus 1 divided by i plus 1, as I mentioned using the um, partial fraction decomposition method. If it is not clear for you how to get from here, to here, leave me a comment in the comment section and I will explain for you how to do that. Okay? So, in any case, now uh, if I expand this series, uh, for example, if I substitute 2 here, I will get 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay? And if I, I 3, put i equal to 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, minus 3 plus 1 is 4. Or if I put i4, that will be 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay? Or if I put uh, uh, i equal to 5, that will be 5 minus 1 is 4, minus 5 plus 1 is 6. And you can continue that, and you can continue that, um, uh, okay, uh, uh, and for example, if you put i equal to n minus 1, that will be n minus 1 mi minus 1 will be n minus 2 minus n minus 1 plus 1 is equal to n. And the last term will be uh, i equal to n, which will be i div 1 divided by n minus 1 minus n plus 1. Okay, so if you look at this series, you see that that uh, this one divided by three is cancelled by this one. One divided by four is cancelled by this one. Okay, and if if you expand this ser series, if you write more terms, you will see that everything will cancel out, and the only remaining terms will be the first term, the third term, and the one divided by n and one divided by n plus one. Okay, so basically as n will be equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by n minus 1 divided by n plus 1. Okay, you can test that yourself as well, but um, as a hint, suppose your last value or n was equal to 5. And basically, the city, if the city uh, were to stop here, you would see here, you will have here only 1. 1 divided by 2, everything is cancelled except the, the 1 divided by n, which in this case is equal to 5, and the 1 after that, that is 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6, right? So you can basically extrapolate that to the case of n. In any case, now we have as n is equal to 3 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, okay? So now we know that the sigma... Uh, 2 divided by n2 minus 1 when n changes from 2 to infinity that is basically equal to limit of Sn okay the partial sum when n goes to infinity which means this is equal to limit of we know Sn is equal to 3 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by n plus 1 divided by n plus 
1 when n goes to infinity okay this will be equal to uh, 3 divided by 2 because 1 divided by n n is infinity that will be 0 this will be 0 that means 3 divided by 2 minus 0 minus 0 which will be equal to 3 divided by 2 so uh, so that means since this limit exists that means this series is convergent and it converges to 3 divided by 2 so the series is convergent I hope uh, you found this video helpful uh, if you're interested please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos thank you